So uh, just a reminder, some background. Um, the problem that I've been, I've been interested in uh, come the last couple of, of demos that I've been a part of is IPLD and, and compatibility. Um, so I'd like, IPL, I'd like to be able to use IPLD to transport any hash link data structure around. It's most of its promise. Uh, it can sort of do this, except that we need codecs in every implementation and ADLs in every implementation. Uh, and we don't really have good spots to put in new ADLs. Uh, and then we have problems with large blocks. So last time we talked about uh, finding a good spot for ADLs. Um, and now we'll do uh, codecs for other implementations, uh, which means WebAssembly um, is sort of our answer. Let me pull up a demo here. Um, I guess as always, uh, our demos are not gonna look very fancy. Uh, it's just, I tried to load a thing over a gateway and hey, it works. Uh, cause in the background, what's happening is that there's just WebAssembly that's doing all of this instead of needing to write custom Go code, right? And we can do this for, this is, has both a codec and an ADL. This business over here was the, how do I put ADLs into, or make custom ADLs usable in, in the IPFS context. Uh, here's another one where we're just doing, you know, look at the raw codec itself. Um, and that's what we've got. Um, we can talk roughly around what's, what it's taken to get here. Um, so we have a, a custom codec uh, called WAC uh, for moving data in and out of assembly. Uh, I made a Ben code uh, codec for working with the, the Ben code format and uh, an ADL for describing BitTorrent files um, written in Wasm. Last time I showed it written in Go. Uh, the motivation behind the WebAssembly codec is to have an, an easy way to represent the IPLD data model completely to move the data in and out between Wasm and the host without having to go back and forth repeatedly with lots of unnecessary function calls. Uh, and unfortunately, none of our existing codecs did the job of fitting the IPLD data model. Uh, and so the idea is just something simple. Uh, it needs to cover everything, including some things that were a little dicey about, like non-UTF-8 map keys. Uh, and it needs to, to map everything. So I don't get no fancy map ordering, just represent the data exactly as it is. Uh, so I, I stole some data from, uh, from Michael, who took a stab at something similar uh, in his simple DAG. And, uh, I have a work in progress spec ongoing down there that will make its way into the IPLD specs repo as it moves along. Um, there's still some things to discuss. Sort of interestingly, almost all of these are pieces of the IPLD data model, which are not totally specified or people are a little unhappy about, which is what is a float? How do we think about floats? Um, what happens with these, these, byte key, these bytes? There are non-UTF-8 strings that are map keys. What do we do with them? Um, so this is probably a good way to like solidify some of the stuff around the data model so more people can make use of it um, confidently. Uh, we have WAC implemented in Go and in Rust uh, with the WASM compilation. Um, we, have, we have codecs going, uh, it's sort of simple. I, so it's a nice pure function. I give you a bunch of bytes, then you give me back a bunch of bytes. Um, so sort of like a very nice use for, for Wasm. ADLs are a little more complicated because I have to hold state as I, as we try and like, I have a humongous file that's gigabytes large. I'm not sending the whole thing back from Wasm to the host at one time, but I'm reading it slowly as I'm reading it slowly over time. Um, so there's more callbacks. Uh, and right now we have these two, um, and we will be adding more uh, ADL support. Um, and here's some links for the work that is ongoing. And with that, I will uh, stop and see if anyone has any questions.